And it really boils down to two things. It boils down to experience and reputation. Experience and reputation. Every client, every consumer needs an advocate that has experience and that has a reputation that can represent them well. And you have both. One of our lender, lending team members uh, was taking an application, I believe, and towards the end of that application process, the client asked him, uh, why should I go with you, or what makes you different from all the other lenders? Is that, was that the question there? So, um, so a little bit put on the spot, um, and you know, I guess he maybe froze a little bit right at that moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I really, I really enjoy that question, you know, because we are different, you know, and, and because you're at the beginning of your career in, you know, you, you don't really know what, what else is out there, you know, but you will at one point realize uh, that the majority of people in your profession as well as the real estate profession uh, are not dedicated. You know, they are incredibly inconsistent. Uh, many of them have other jobs, many of them, uh, don't show up at 8 a.m. to practice conversations. Many of them don't have a broker or banker that is supporting them at the level that you guys are receiving report, uh, support from myself and Richard Murray. Uh, many of them don't have the systems, tools, and resources that we have um, that we're investing in. And I can guarantee you that virtually all of them aren't dedicated to the development that you guys are de dedicated to here. Um, there are a very small number of them that are actually getting coached. So how do you verbalize that in a way that, um, that can sell yourself at a high level? The first question is, I think, too, like, and when you do get that question, um, you have to wonder where you're at in terms of rapport, you know? Uh, have you established enough rapport with that individual? I mean, how, how do they... Uh, how, how friendly are they with you? How, d how deep have you dug with them? Um, and in most cases, when you're getting that question, it's probably still on the surface because they don't really know you from Adam. You know, so um, you've got to have courage and be confident when you say that you're the best. Even though you've only been in this business maybe six months, 12 months, a year, two years, you are the best. You're the best because you're supported by the best and you're in the same organization as the best. Uh, and it really boils down to two things. It boils down to experience and reputation. Experience and reputation. Every client, every consumer needs an advocate that has experience and that has a reputation that can represent them well. And you have both here. You have it on the mortgage side and you have it on the real estate side. On the mortgage side, you've got uh, a mentor and a coach and a owner that you're seeing every single day that has been in the business for 21 years that uh, has done over a billion dollars in mortgages that has helped thousands and thousands of families that has seen you know hundreds and hundreds of different scenarios play out and so you have that advantage in your corner that that individual you're virtually an extension of that person and so when you encounter resistance or when you encounter adversity all you have to do is walk four steps and you get to you know, have that 21 years of experience, billions of dollars in closed mortgages, thousands and thousands of families helped in your corner. Same thing on the real estate side of things. The broker that you're working with, that you're partnered with, uh, has been in the business for 15 years, uh, has closed thousands and thousands of transactions, has helped thousands of families, has closed in excess of a billion dollars in real estate. All you have to do is walk four steps and you have that person's uh, full attention, and that client is getting the same level of service that they would from that individual through you, okay? So that's what you leverage. Because when you don't talk about your own accolades, well, I've only been in the business three, a month and a half, and I've closed two deals, you know, you don't wanna go that route. You know, that's not very convincing and doesn't bring a whole lot of confidence. You wanna leverage the organization that you're affiliated with, okay? Now, maybe you're not affiliated, if you're watching this video, maybe you're not affiliated with an organization like that yet. So you should seek one out and align yourself with an organization like that. You know, um, a lot of people, uh, 
have given me, you know, some some uh, credit for winning the broker of the year. And you know, I don't talk about it too too much, but you know, when you look at at what we've been able to accomplish over the last 15 years, uh, we have some of the most successful agents in the city. Uh, we're one of the most productive smaller organizations, not just in the city but in the state of Texas, uh, and we have a tremendous reputation that we want to uphold. Why is reputation important to a client? You know, when somebody asks you, well. Why is experience and reputation important to me? Well, Mr. or Mrs. Buyer, right now you're in a market that is incredibly competitive. And you, ne you need every advantage that you can possibly have to win in multiple offer situations. And if I'm a seller, okay, and I'm considering your offer plus 10 others, and I see that the mortgage company that you have, have decided to get pre-qualified with is a is a reputable mortgage company that I'm experienced with. Oh, I've closed a deal with Richard before. Oh, I closed a deal with Expedient Mortgage last week. I feel good about them. Oh, they're being represented by an AE realtor. Those are some of the most professional real estate uh, um, people that I've ever worked with, you know? So all of a sudden, I'm looking at your offer in a lot more light versus Wells Fargo, who we all know have a terrible reputation in the mortgage business and a no-name realtor that I've never heard about from a different city, you know? Which offer do you think is gonna be looked at more favorably uh, in a multiple offer situation, okay? Experience and reputation are the most important things to the, cl to the client and to the consumer, okay? And so when you get that question, appreciate it. Appreciate it because that's your time to shine. That's your time to really uh, distinguish yourself. Okay, once you start to understand more about our processes, uh, you will be able to, you know, explain more about the systems that we have, and explain more about the tools and resources that we have at our disposal. Um, you know, uh, Stephen here is, is working on the listing side of things. When we go into the listing appointment, many times we're competing against, you know, 10, 12 other realtors. And so these days it's easy to sell your house. So why should I use you or you or you when it's pretty much, I could even do it myself, right? So we have to do a very convincing um, presentation and show people that, no, if you work with us, you will make more money. You will uh, sell your home in less time. You will have an overall uh, better experience, okay? And that's because of our understanding of how to market properties, our ability to negotiate effectively, okay? Our experience and our reputation, all right? So it boils down to those two things. That's what people need and want. They need experience. Uh, they want reputation because you're essentially uh, the person that is representing. I mean, John Smith that wants to buy a house, nobody's ever heard of John Smith, you know? But they've heard of Richard Murray. They've heard of Carl Bishop. So leverage that. Leverage that every opportunity you get. And that, take it a step further and invite them into the office so we can talk to them personally. So we can spend 15 minutes with them and talk to them personally. The owner of the company wants to meet you. The owner of Expedient Mortgage would love to sit down with you, you know, because it's important. We want to earn your business, okay? We want to apply for the job. We don't expect you to use us just because you found us online or because somebody even recommended us, okay? We want to apply for the job. We want to earn your business. We want to add value to you whether you end up using us or not, okay? And if you take that approach in life, and, and encourage people, say, you know what, you should get a second opinion. Because, you know, it's a smart decision, but that you will also see the differences when you get that second opinion. You will, you will start to see the distinguishing factors between our organization and theirs, between my professionalism and theirs, between my experience and reputation and theirs, okay? Look us up. Encourage them to do some research, okay? Check us out on Google. Look us up on Zillow. Okay, look us up on uh, Facebook. I mean, look us up, do some research. Don't just take my word for it. Please uh, do a little research on us and you'll be very pleased with what you found. It took decades to develop what we have here, decades. And so it's a very powerful, powerful, um, you know, reputation and experience that we've created here. And so just verbalize that uh, and be confident when you do. You can confidently say, that I'm the best person for you to work with in this city and in this state, in this world, 
okay? Because even though I may not be the most experienced, I have the most experienced in my corner, and they're within arm's reach, and I have them uh, anytime I have a question, anytime I, you have a concern, anytime we have an issue, you're gonna get the very best, the absolute highest level of professionalism, the absolute highest level of experience and reputation. Okay, so remember those two things next time you get that question. Experience and reputation, you know, and, and, and you know, it'll get easier as time goes by, but you know, embrace that opportunity because that's an intelligent person. That's a person that, you know, realizes they have options. And you know, you, you've got to be that person uh, that jumps to that opportunity and says, well, let me tell you why you want to work with me, okay? Experience and reputation, okay? Those are two things that'll help you win in this environment. You need that to win in this environment. You need every advantage that you can possibly have in this incredibly competitive environment. Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, uh, we want to uh, apply for the job. We want to earn your business. And we're going to do it through our experience and through our reputation.